So it's your turn next and the question of today is why did you choose psychiatry as a profession? Well, I'm from India and uh, I always uh, like talking to people and I'm an open person so I, I like being around people and knowing about their problems. Um, India is a community, in an, as an economy, it's a society where people are not very open to uh, personal issues. They, ha they are quite uh, withdrawn from the society when they come, it comes to personal issues. Well, I was a surgeon first and I went back to psychiatry because this is what I wanted to do as an adolescent. But there is many links between surgery and psychiatry and psychoanalysis. And there's a book on that, actually, because the first psychoanalysts were actually surgeons. Freud himself was a neuroanatomist, and uh, Fer Ferenzi also, most of them were, Abraham. So uh, my pathway is, looks unusual, but it's not. Uh, it's the same kind of exploration of the soul and, and of the body. I did uh, psychiatry and psychoanalysis after a long way, but I must say that nothing is lost because surgery had helped me. It's a metaphor. It helped me for my patients in psychiatry and psychoanalysis. It's the metaphor that Freud himself used that psychoanalysis must be like surgeons. Well, I was first interested in psychiatry in high school. We had a tour to a psychiatric hospital and we got to interview patients and observe them. And I observed this one very sad man sitting in the yard, not looking around, very catatonic. Another man we watched indoors. He was chasing a fly that didn't exist. These were very unhappy uh, people, obviously suffering from a lot of emotional pain. And by that time, age 17, I discovered that the worst kind of pain humans can suffer is not actually physical pain, but emotional pain. So that really deeply tied me into psychiatry. First, I considered psychology, but then I figured if I don't do the medicine part, I won't understand the biological basis of it. So I, I'm not regretting a minute of the choice. It's been very rewarding for me. I actually started a residency in pediatrics and it was during my residency in pediatrics that I saw so many children and families that clearly had physical problems but uh, there were often psychological family social problems that were part of the physical problems they had and I ended up having more and more to do with this, the consulting psychiatrists while I was there and decided to just do an elective in child psychiatry and I never ended up going back to pediatrics actually and I have never ever for one minute regretted the choice I made to go into psychiatry. Mostly because when I was in medical school uh, the patients that my other classmates found distressing I found that their stories were fascinating. That was probably the biggest reason why I went into psychiatry. Now I'm afraid that's your last opportunity to be on camera this year, but don't forget you can still stay involved in the conversation on Twitter using the hashtag APAAM13.